Hi everyone! In today's video we'll be doing the unbeatable road racing accolade, beating the driver tires on unbeatable difficulty, but really easy way. And to do this, we're gonna need a car. Not just any car, a very specific one. And for this, I've chosen the 1965 Ford Transit. Yes, this car. This slow and mean car. Now the car alone is not enough, you need a tune which was prepared for us by PTG Predator and you can see the number right there in the corner. Apart from the car, we need a racetrack, though well, that's not too important, but we're going to choose the one you see on the map now. And once we have a track and a car and a tune, it's time to race on Bahia de Plana circuit. Let's look at the difficulty settings to verify that we are doing unbeatable. Yes, indeed. And we can start the race. Now, all you need to do here is floor it and beat the driver task. You can see that despite of them being on unbeatable level, we are overtaking quite a few from the start and we are generally much faster than all of them. Now you still need to race them and you need to do it proper. So avoid collisions, don't hit the walls in the turns, don't fly away and definitely don't miss the checkpoints. If you are hitting anything and losing time, rewind and try again. But look at how we are catching up with them. Just a couple of checkpoints in, we are number six and rest assured by the end of this lap we'll be much further ahead. Now why does it work? It works because the driver tires will try to match their performance to your PI level. And this car has a PI level of a total of 100. Yes, as low as is technically possible in the game. But within that PI level, we managed to squeeze in quite a few upgrades for power, handling and speed, which gives us a tremendous advantage over the driver task performance. You can see we are already third, catching up on the second, passing him in a minute, well, in a moment, and there we are. So by the end of the first lap, we are in the second place, much faster than the first one, and all we need to do is just not screw it up and easily pass them. Even with all the tuning within the G100 PI, it's still pretty slow and be prepared that it feels like it moves through the gel and might not handle the way you used to in faster cars but that's okay all we need here is a decent advantage over AI and ability to pass them on any track now this will work on any track however I do recommend using this one for a number of reasons first it's pretty short and with the car that slow you don't want to grind on a Goliath or Colossus, which is going to take you a bloody hour. The second thing is this track is very, very easy. There's no narrow turns, uh, there's enough space, good straights and flowing uh, corners. So you shouldn't have any serious challenge driving through this. Now, if you choose something more difficult, uh, like a town track with a lot of narrow streets and uh, stuff like that, you run a risk of crashing into AI while trying to overtake them or touching the walls and all of this means losing speed. Now despite our advantage, these are still unbeatable driver tasks, so you don't want to give them any leverage. And also, this is a very very slow car. You lose the speed by hitting the wall and getting back to, to speed takes a while. I also highly recommend switching to manual here, even if you always drive automatic, uh, ju just do it for this. The car is slow, the speeds are low, so you shouldn't have a difficulty catching that moment when you need to shift gears. But being able to shift them when you need it is a significant advantage. The car is uh, sensitive to any change in elevation, so it starts losing the power uh, as you start going up and you need to shift down. The auto just doesn't cope with it. Uh, once we get to some other races like Rally, uh, you, you'll see what I mean, where the elevation is pretty significant and you will see the driver task stalling 
completely trying to get up while you just cruise past uh, past them on the low gear but that's something for another video it is hilarious though so now we are cruising to close to the end of the uh, last lap as you can see the AI is nowhere to be found the advantage is so big that they are not even visible on the map and just like this we are finishing the race fair and square no cheats or blueprints on unbeatable difficulty you can see even the finishing uh, footage is really really slow but yeah 4 minutes 24 seconds uh, and accolade is yours now the AIs are cruising past you can see the the results and as we load back into the free roll the accolade should check in let's have a look after we see our credits and experience there it is you can see successfully beaten unbeatable driver task and this is available to anyone with any kind of skill even if you're just learning driving this should not be a problem i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you and stay tuned for the other videos on rally off-road and street race thanks again bye